Let's do the WinLink Field Day Challenge again in 2023. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Last year, we had a lot of fun and a lot of success with the Field Day Challenge using WinLink, and I want to challenge you guys to participate again in 2023. Now, in case you missed last year's challenge or you're not quite sure what we're talking about, it's where we post a WinLink position report, and in the comments section, we put ACK FD Challenge. And if you're not familiar with WinLink position reports, stick around for a couple of minutes and I'll go over exactly how this is done. But for those that are familiar, just go ahead and post a WinLink position report, putting that ACK, ACK FD challenge in the comments. Try to get that out right around the very start of field day. And then maybe two, three, four hours later, go ahead and request all those nearby positions and see how many people you see participating in the challenge. If you'd like, go ahead and reach out to one or two or several of them through WinLink and just let them know where you're operating your class and your section. I'm not sure if this really counts for field day points, but that's beside the point. This is more about experimenting. Now, if you're not familiar with how to post a WinLink position report and how to request nearby stations, Let's head over to the Pi, and I'll show you guys how this is done in Linux. There is a similar method for getting it done in Windows. You'll have to explore the Windows uh, WinLink Express software on how to post a position report. So here we are inside the Pat mailbox on the Raspberry Pi, and this is super simple to do. I am going to assume you already have your GPS attached to your Pi and configured. But once you come into the PAT mailbox, go ahead and click on Action and Position. That will read your current position from the GPS and go ahead and plug in your latitude and your longitude. Now, you could do this without a GPS. If you know your current latitude and longitude, you could go ahead and plug that in manually, but it's much easier if you've got that GPS attached and configured. Then, down here in the comments section, this is where we want to put ACK FD Challenge. Once you've got that posted in the comment section, go ahead and click on Post right here. And what that will do is that will drop that outgoing message in your inbox. Now, of course, for Phil Day, we would want to go ahead and send that out over RF. For time's sake, in the video, I'm going to use Telnet to get this done. So we'll press Action and Connect. I'm going to choose Telnet for my option, and then just go ahead and press Connect. And that will send out that message that we just created. Now, after you've let two, three, maybe four hours elapse, go ahead and open up Pat Menu. Again, this is available inside the Windows software, uh, RMS Express or WinLink Express, I believe is actually what they call it, uh, by just going to the catalog section inside of WinLink Express. In Pat Menu, though, you want to come right here to the Pat Catalog. Next, we'll go ahead and click on Position Reports. And then, right here in this drop-down, instead of post a position, we want to request either all nearby stations, which will give you a list of the closest 30 stations, or you can ch uh, choose to look for the closest 100 stations. I'm not sure why they refer to the 100 as mobile stations and the closest 30 as all nearby stations, but that's kind of the way it works. I'm just going to choose all nearby stations for this particular instance. I'm going to check that here, and then I'm going to click Continue. Now, what that's going to do, you'll see it told me it posted the message to the Outbox. So let's take a look at our Outbox in Pat Menu, and you can see that request right here ready to be sent out. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and make a Telnet connection and send that email out. Again, you want to use RF if we're going to be doing this on field day. Now, once you've sent out that request, you want to wait two or three minutes, and then you're going to make yet another connection. So, it's a total of three connections over the course of the day to get the information. So, I'm going to go ahead and make yet another Telnet connection, 
and we should see that message being delivered back to us. I can see that it came in right there, so let's click on the inbox, and you will see that that uh, WL2K underscore nearby was returned to me. Now, if I go ahead and open that up, you will see all of the different stations that are around you, and you can see right up here in the comment section the ACK FD challenge. Now here's the cool thing about that comment section. If it was any time other than fill day and this particular challenge, you could use the comment section to express some sort of information to others that might be close to you. For instance, if you look at this comment here, he was doing some RF wind link testing at Fall Creek Falls State Park. If we look down here at this particular comment, you can see that he has a VARA gateway on 40 and 20 meters, and it looks like he has a VARA FM gateway at 145.05 and 145.07 megahertz. Also, several of the guys in our area use this color code system. So a lot of times in my area, you will see green in the comment section. Green just means everything is okay and running as expected. Yellow would indicate that they have a problem, but they should be able to fix it themselves. And red would indicate they have a problem that requires outside assistance. So it's just a little color code system that's used mainly in the East Tennessee area. So there's a look at the challenge for this year and how you post and request position reports in WinLink on Linux. I look forward to seeing how many of you are willing to participate this year. I'll post mine right at the beginning of field day and then somewhere later in the afternoon or maybe early evening, I'll go ahead and pull the stations that are closest to me and go ahead and generate a WinLink message to those guys. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.